I'm coming to you from San Diego, California. I've been here for several days doing one-on-one -on -one personal encounters with people and seeing the most amazing miracles. Next weekend, I'll be in Ontario, California. So tell everyone you know in California to be there, to get free, stay free, and live free in Jesus. This past week, in the federal courthouse in New York City, a trial finally reached a conclusion. It was the murder and drug smuggling trial of El Chapo Guzman, the most notorious drug lord in all the world. There was graphic testimony of how he dealt with his opponents and his enemies. He shot them, he buried them alive, he dismembered them, he burned them. He even killed a Roman Catholic cardinal, all to protect the power and the money of his Sinaloa cartel. It's estimated that he and his Sinaloa cartel shipped over a half billion dollars worth of drugs every year to America. Fentanyl, opioids, cocaine, heroin, and marijuana. It's interesting, at the same time this trial was wrapping up, I was ministering to a young Mexican-American man who was bound by drugs and addiction. His demons manifested violently, and they bragged about how their power went back to the blood covenants and the blood sacrifices of his Aztec ancestors. The demon said it wasn't going to go because it was bound by a blood covenant because the marijuana that this young man smoked had come by way of the Sinaloa cartel. People who deal in this area have known for years that major kingpin smugglers like El Chapo regularly perform human sacrifices to establish the power of blood covenants. And they know this stuff goes back to the Aztecs. That's why they do it, to protect themselves from their enemies and to get the drugs through. Some of them are part of the satanic cult of Santa Muerta. And this cult of Santa Muerta is also being brought to America right now by illegals crossing the border and infecting many good Hispanic people right here in America. Now, some of you think it's okay to smoke pot if it's legal. But the reality is that a lot of the pot, a lot of the weed being smoked today, isn't coming through legally grown channels. It's coming from the Sinaloa cartel. The cartel that is rooted in human blood sacrifice and claim the legal right over this young man that I was ministering to. These are blood curses. They go way back. And these blood curses are done not just for protection and for smuggling, but to hook the people who smoke the weed. So the next time you light up a joint and you think you need to get high with a little help from your friends, those friends that you inhale may be the demons of Sinaloa.